Are you the Messiah? I am. The charge is blasphemy. He deserves to die! The Bible series got 100 million viewers. Millions and millions of Americans are excited to see the next part of this story. The sequel is called A.D. The Bible continues. Yes! This is Game of Thrones meets the Bible. Fueled by the Roman oppression, these will be the darkest days after the death and betrayal of Jesus. This Jesus cult grows stronger by the hour. Soon it will draw every crackpot and revolutionary into Jerusalem with the sole aim of challenging us all. Throw camera. Action. This is an unbelievable production. It is huge in the epic biblical sense of old Hollywood movies. I mean, we really rebuilt the temple of Jerusalem and the old city. It just makes you feel very immersed in the world and the time. They had over 500 builders working on this set round the clock. Feels like you're in ancient Jerusalem. There are real animals here. It does really smell. It is really hot. It does get really cold. There's a huge cast of actors. You can't just have one look for these people. So we need to have that diversity within the cast. We've taken major advice from biblical experts to make sure that they are accurate. So the viewer can really feel, what was it like to be one of these disciples? Rise up and walk. This is also a story of history which shapes nations, shapes laws in the most dramatic, crazy times. You think he's coming back? I know he is. The Nazarene spread rumor that he would rise from his own death after three days. Roman crucifixion really doesn't allow for that, Caiaphas. This is really the birth of Christianity. This is a, a drama that's true. It is the third day. Do you dare to believe? The stories are told with grit and excitement. It's real people in a really crazy situation. I think that's appealing to everyone. A lot of people will be excited. Faith in him has to be worth three days. A.D. The Bible Continues premieres Easter Sunday only on NBC.